Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. So today we're going to talk about what is cloud formation and how you can configure your own cloud formation template in your AWS account. Okay. What is cloud formation? Cloud formation is infrastructure as a code. Okay. Suppose you have your own infra running in your AWS account in North Virginia region that consists of many AWS resources like EC2, RDS, Lambda and many more. Okay, and you want to replicate your uh, infra in different AWS regions, suppose like in Ohio, California, or whatever, or you want to replicate your infrastructure in your different AWS account. Okay, so replicating means you'll configure, uh, you will launch your EC2, you'll launch your RDS, you'll launch configure Lambda with EC2 all over again in different different your account or region. Okay, or we can what we can do we can write our infrastructure as a code in a cloud formation template and that template could be a json or yaml okay so go to your aws management console and type cloud formation now go to create stack now if you have your own uh, code written in json or yaml you can upload it via s3 url or you can upload it through a local file like this okay or you can create your own template using a designer in your aws account okay or you can use a template that is provided by aws which we're gonna use in this lecture okay so these all templates has been provided by aws so let's choose a simple lamp stack template now we can go to next okay and configure our stack but let's go ahead and view in designer okay so these two resources will be created using this template okay one is security group and another, another one is inference for template language i'll choose yaml because it is easier to read at least for me so uh, before beginning uh, begin let me uh, make make it clear that cloud formation is a pretty vast topic okay we need at least two to three lectures to at least understand what is cloud formation. So I'll give you a basic knowledge what is written in this cloud formation template. Okay. So first of all, here we have parameters. Parameters uh, in parameters we define a value that we want user to enter at the time of template creation. Okay. So here we are asking a user for the key name to SSH into our EC2 instance, which it will launch. Okay. We are asking DB name, DB user, and, and we are defining all this thing here like default is my database and description that is this is my SQL database. Uh, type would be string, minimum length of the password should be one, maximum length of the password would be 64. So here we are defining the properties also. Okay. Uh, here we are asking DB password, DB root password, and instance type. It's okay. Uh, okay. So for instance type, we have the uh, allowed values, okay, T2, T, uh, micro and all that, okay. Now, uh, I'll show you what all resources and how we create resources in uh, cloud formation. Now resources. So as I've already mentioned here that we will be creating two resources. One is security group, another one is instance. Okay, now let's go back to our template. So for first, we are creating a EC2 instance, and we'll give this uh, we'll give this resource name Web Server Instance. You can give it any name, like I could have given an uh, EC2 instance. Okay, now we are defining its type. This is a simple uh, template, okay, which we use, which we need to follow while creating EC2. So we are telling what type of resource we are creating. AWS in AWS we are going for EC2 and in EC2 we are going for instance okay so we are creating instance okay now we have defined the type we have we have configured the metadata metadata like what all uh, things I want to run inside our EC2 this these all things I want to install like packages httpd mysql and I want to write this in my index.php file okay and I want to change the ownership of the file to Apache. I want to change again its value like Gmod and all that. Okay. 
and services I want um, my instance to maintain like uh, MySQL should be running and enable and web server should be running and enable and all this and all these things okay and uh, MySQL uh, for the database I'm saying that please refer DB name which we have defined above okay and for DB password please refer DB password which we have defined above now we are defining the properties of uh, our uh, EC2 instance image ID we have already entered okay instance type refer instance type which have we have already mentioned above for security group refer web server security group which we have not defined yet okay and key name we have again set refer key name which we have defined above so what is this web server security group where it is defined let's go ahead and here it is web server security group is defined here so we are uh, saying that for security group of this instance refer this so we are creating another resource web server security group the type is in aws in ec2 security group for above we have for uh, in this we have written instance but here we are written security group okay for security group properties we are defining all this like enable at to open all uh, ssh port open okay now what all values uh, should we uh, for what value we open the ssh value refer ssh location which we have already mentioned above okay if you have forgot let me show you the parameter it's quite a big code here okay here we are defined what all port what all ip for what all ip ssh will be open okay so here we are defining please refer ssh location now output output is uh, like when we run a stack and our stack is complete what we want to throw as a output okay here we are throwing a url which is http and it is a get attribute which is a web server instance and public dns name okay so what it will do it will most probably give a username uh, sorry a url with a dns name of for public dns name of the instance now i know it's big code now let's go ahead and create a template you can validate it from here and template is valid now let's go ahead and create stack using this template so give it a name now parameters as i have already defined uh, told you that parameters is the value that will be asking the user to put in so db name my default my database has been already set in the code db password i'll leave it as simple password db root password i'll leave it as simple password db user i'll leave it to admin instance type here we have the allowed values i go to t2 micro key name i have two like dw test ssh location open to all next you can add tags you can configure your permission you can configure your stack policy here you can configure your rollback policy rollback policy uh, configuration is suppose uh, sometimes your uh, instance uh, or cloud formation template fail at some point okay so what it will it what it will do it will roll back your all the configuration uh, before finding the error okay you can configure your notification by creating your configuring sns okay we'll leave it as it is and go to next and here is our template and create a stack so we can see our events here resources what are all the resources which it will create we can see it here output will be seeing here parameters we have we are already been able to see it template is this and change set which suppose you want to do any kind of change you create a change set okay so here we are we can see the events so it has launched one security group and yes and it has launched one server web server also which is create in progress okay so let's wait for a while so we can see our instance is running 
Okay, output. I think nope, no output. So let's wait for a while. Before I'll go, let me show you this rollback. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, this was one of my template which didn't go well. So it has rolled back all the resources which it has created before getting the error. Okay, so I suppose it has created a few instances and few ASG subnets and all. And when it finds the error, it has rolled back all the things which it, it has created. Okay, so this is what rollback will do. So my DW stack is creation is complete. Okay, resource and yes, my instance is up and running and my security group has been created. Now let's go back to output. So yes, this is what the output URL is, the public DNS name of our EC2 instance. Let's let's click it. Okay. So this is what we have entered in our index.php. Okay. So I hope you get to understand what is cloud formation and how to create your own cloud formation. Okay. And suppose and if you are doing it in your free tier account, so I would highly recommend to please go ahead and delete this stack because otherwise you'll be charged unnecessary. So I hope you get to understand what is cloud formation stack. Thank you.